Well, it's February 1st and today marks the first day of Black History Month. Tonight we're highlighting a Beaumont artist. His passion filled paintings tell remarkable stories. Wayne Goodman found a way to honor those who came before him and those he grew up with all through his art. 12 News anchor Letitia Kay he shows us how he is keeping history alive through this art. It's a long, long story. Of how one man, Wayne Goodman, at age 60. Never thought it'd be like this. Decided to be a historian through art. I certainly deal with history quite a bit. And I deal with even personal history. Weaving them both together like the material that frames his art. Mud cloth comes in this particular color, which is black and beige. Certainly it's an African print. He now has many paintings. This is titled uh, Pick and Cotton that drapes the halls of galleries from the art studio in Beaumont to the Red Bud Gallery in Houston. It's still amazing, shocking, you know, and uh, it's got me just to, you know, think bigger, I guess. It all started 12 years ago with a number of little, little girls in particular, and we are sitting on the floor doing images and uh, I actually finished one image and the child, she said, Uncle Wayne, I want you to draw an image of uh, with nothing but little girls. Some of his paintings now reflect his memories growing up. I'm from the south end of town. The image is produced in the form of a newspaper headline. So this is the south end free press. It was certainly uh, an isolated, uh, segregated. And the people who remind him of this struggle. W one of the most profound people in, his, in our history is uh, Harriet Tubman. Continue to be honored and remembered with each stroke of his paintbrush. One of, his, one of my favorite poems by Langston Hughes is uh, Winter Sweetness, and it goes like this. The little house is sugar, with snow its roof is piled, and from its tiny window peeps a maple sugar child. Just as he has been inspired, he hopes to inspire people to dig deeper. One thing about uh, people, we don't read like we used to, and reading is critical, right? And so I intend to uh, really inspire people to, uh, okay, uh, who is this person? You know, let me dig a little bit deeper and find out a little bit more because, you know, history certainly is best qualified to teach. What an inspiration. Letitia Kay is sharing that story tonight. Goodman tells us his end goal is actually to write children's books, and he's already been involved uh, encouraging the next generation. He is volunteering at the Children's Museum. Now we talk about how he wants to encourage and inspire people. So the museum actually duplicates those images in black and white and then allows kiddos to color and paint them to tell their own stories. It's an very, awesome, awesome idea. Yeah, very exciting. Thank